To all my baby birds out there, thank you so much for joining us for this special sneak peek edition of Words of Wisdom. Find us on the Twitterverse at Words from Wisdom. That's at Words from Wisdom. This is a special edition sporting event. We have my main man, Reggie Mick, correspondent of Minnesota Vikings after the big win at Minnesota. I had to do a bit of respect to have my good old friend Reggie Mack on the show. It's great to have you. Thank you for joining us, brother. Oh, yeah, that's uh, fantastic. Well, no, it's great to talk with you, Velvet. I uh, hope you're doing well. You know, I know you had a couple of things happen the last time I talked to you. And it's been, it's been a quick minute, but it's great to, great to talk to you. And you reached out to me to do this, and it's fantastic. No, I'm doing much better now, brother. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. You got a little bit of commotion going on. Oh, yeah, excuse the, uh, the commotion, you know. Just got them driving a little bit, and there's a. Uh, I'm walking around in some places where they're not going to give me some real big collections, so I apologize for that. No, nah, you're good, bud. Let's go ahead and bring on the Viking talk. All right, we'll get right to it. It's a big game. A really big game. You got the Minnesota Vikings doing some great things there. It was a pretty amazing. I tell you, sitting on the sideline, watching that game, watching that throw, it literally almost made me fall over. It was a pretty impressive feat to see. It was pretty impressive to see Case Keenum take the, take the snap, pop back, evade some traffic, and heave down the field for 25, 30 yards down the field to Stephon Diggs. And then watching, had a good view of Marcus, Marcus Williams, the rookie, trying to make a, put his head down. He put his head down. The thing was, he put his head down there, Velvet. He put his head down. He's supposed to do the, the old, he'll keep the head up. Always look up. So even if he had his eyes closed, it doesn't matter. He wouldn't have been able to see because his face was down. His face was pointed directly at the ground there. And he whiffed. And the problem was with the whiffing that the underneath player was a little too far underneath. And with, with Marcus in the way, he couldn't get to Stefano. So Stefan caught the ball and he did the, he basically was, he didn't run the best route, to be honest with you, about it. He needed to run. He was supposed to run. All the way to the sideline, take the catch, and be able to get hit. He would go automatically out the bounds. He ran it about a yard and a half too deep, too shallow. So he wasn't quite at the, out of bounds. So when he caught it, and he saw Marcus Williams go past it, it was uh, quite an amazing feat when he basically just spun, because he was going to try to spin out the bounds, because he wasn't close enough. And he noticed Marcus Williams missed him. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Put his hand on the ground. And he just went down the sideline. It was, it was quite the feat. It was probably the most amazing thing out there. You know, it was a great catch, eh? And, uh, you know, it wasn't just him. You know, Case played well. The defense played phenomenal, stopping Drew Brees for most of the game. You know, and you had, uh, you had uh, the defense play phenomenal against uh, the run game. You know, Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram, the one-two punch, they just, they couldn't get it done. They couldn't get it. Alvin had the one big play, and Ingram was a, was a no-show. And that's, you had to give that up to the, I know your, your favorite play up there, Everson Griffin. Well, those guys up front, you got Harrison Smith in the back, and you got uh, Anthony Barr, and those guys, you know, I'm back at all three levels of defense are just phenomenal. Number one in the NFL, you know, it's, a, it's great, but... <laughs> I know you're going to want to talk about the Eagles, aren't you? We're going to do that off the show, right? <laughs> Just put a little uh, gentleman wager on this particular game up there at the link. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll be at the link. Brother, the jealousy runs rampant. I would love to be at the link this weekend. That's one benefit, yeah, absolutely, of doing the right thing. You can go up to these things with the media passes and whatnot, and you work for the teams. Great. Of course, when he says wager, he's not talking about anything monetary on the radio. He's talking just a friendly bet. I've jump in there real quick. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> no, it's okay. You, 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 you can talk. It. It's, it's, it's fine, doesn't it? You know, we'll just go ahead and put a gentleman's waiver on the bet. I guess, I guess maybe we shouldn't bet uh, on a show. <laughs> I think that's illegal, right? Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set something up later. You know, it's good. 
You're good. Thank you so much for joining us. No, Ray. thank you so much. It was great talking with you. And next week. Oh yeah, definitely. And I'll come back on next week for you. After an Eagles victory, of course. Maybe do a live when the when the Vikings beat your Eagles <laughs> at the link. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it on the sideline. You can see it. You can see us playing the NFC trophy in your home. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate you. No, thank you so much. I'd like to thank my good, close, personal friend, Reg Mack, for joining us. And I really do mean personal friend. He's really a family friend. I did introduce him to his wife a while back, so that is closeness. And it's really a good story, but that's not for the radio right now and not for this clientele. So I want to thank Reggie Mack for joining us on the TBA performance line. TBA, to be announced, performance line. Really can't call it that because I believe other show has that. So we're going to have to call it just, we'll figure something out. It's phone line from now. So TBA to be announced phone line. For those of you out there that would like to sponsor the performance line, the phone line on Words of Wisdom, you can hit us up at Words from Wisdom in the Twitterverse. DM, tweet, whatever you like. People out there, I want you to move in close. I want to. Getting close here. We're going to have an intimate conversation. All you listeners, all you cats out there, all the baby birds out there in the world checking out. I appreciate you and I enjoy that you're listening to the show. I hope you are enjoying it. This is just a sneak peek of words of wisdom. And I just want everyone to know that on this show, it's not just my show. Are you in here? Are you close? Are you moving in? Are you turning the volume up? Are you seeing? Are you hearing? Are you believing? This ain't just my show. This is our show. This is designed in multiple ways for you to keep us in check. All right. You can look around. You can hear what I say. If you don't enjoy what I'm saying, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, that's okay. You can go ahead and hit this up in the Twitterverse. Hit that up. Words from wisdom on the Twitterverse. You can also, if you missed the live cast, you can go ahead and get the download being tweeted out at are you condemned in the twitterverse are you condemned adam good stuff now i'm gonna leave you with this words from wisdom what we're looking at is something so true so true to ourselves something so perfect so everlasting something that you can walk through a field, or a meadow, or even a street, and a boardwalk in the big city, somewhere in the desert, walking around, looking up, seeing one thing, seeing, feeling, and believing one truth, seeing, feeling, having that faith that you know you are in control that you can count on you because if you can't count on yourself in a situation that brings you out of your norm out of your comfort area out of your zone who else are you going to count on you're going to count on mama you're going to count on daddy you're going to count on your partner you're going to count on the police, you're going to count on the military, you're going to count on that, when you're all alone in the dark, when there's nobody else there, and it's just you looking up in the night star sky, you need to be able to count on yourself before you can count on anyone else, if you can't help yourself, how are you going to be able to help others, thank you so much for tuning in, listening, live, downloading, any way, which way, that clicking, we dig you. Baby birds, we out.